Well, it's pretty amazing. In only uh, a matter of a couple of days, uh, really, it's easier to express it as a number of hours, we went from uh, a trial balloon, or maybe is it even fair to call it a trial balloon that happened so quickly, uh, a story being planted in the media about the Biden administration looking to uh, mandate vaccines for federal employees. And now here we are on Thursday. It's not even Friday yet. I don't even remember. What was it? Tuesday, maybe, that that story came out. Now it's Thursday, and it seems like every uh, corporation in America, as well as increasingly every government uh, that has any sort of uh, democratic lean to it in this country, is moving very quickly to mandate vaccines. And of course, they're not doing it in a uh, in a overt violation of your civil liberties, the police are coming to your door and they're going to shove a needle in your arm kind of vaccine mandate. They're saying, well, we're mandating these for our employees, you know, for the safety of, uh, for the safety of the customer and for the safety of the rest of our workforce. You know, everybody needs to have vaccines or <laughs> If you really don't want to get a vaccine, you can submit to basically getting tested for the virus every day at your own expense, uh, and then maybe we'll let you come back to work. And so, yeah, it's pretty much a mandate for these employees. And very quickly, every, I don't have time to, to count all of them. Companies, um, university systems, uh, local governments all across the country now are lining up to join in on the mandate and they're implementing the exact same policy in lockstep. Everyone from big tech to big media to big government uh, to big education, they all are doing the exact same thing. And their goal is, you know, while well, for now they're not going to send the police door to door to shove a needle in your arm, their goal is to make your life very, very difficult if you don't accept that needle yourself. Uh, willingly. <laughs> this is one of the reasons why um, it's so important to make sure that your livelihood is not tied to corporate America, uh, because in times like this, you can always count on them to stab you in the back. This is why I'm so concerned about the whole banking thing. There's not a great way to disconnect yourself from the big banks. But other than that, you should try and disconnect yourself from uh, corporate America in any way possible. Like, I'm not saying don't shop at Walmart or don't buy things from Amazon. I'm saying don't rely on them because there may come a time when they deny you service and when you are no longer welcome there. Shake Shack is a great example today. Shake Shack's uh, founder, I don't know if he's still the CEO, but the founder of Shake Shack came out today and he wanted to take it one step further than all the other CEOs and, and local government officials and university chancellors. He said not only is he going to require all of his employees to get vaccinated, um, you know, no matter what they feel about the issue, uh, he's going to mandate that all of his customers get vaccinated as well. And that he's going to ask for proof of vaccination <laughs> upon uh, uh, entering the business. Now, of course, that's not legal here in Florida, so I'm pretty sure that uh, we here in Florida will be able to walk into a Shake Shack and still you know, walk in the door without presenting some vaccine passport. But in all other in the other 49 states, I'm pretty sure this is legal and he can do that. Uh, he can require a vaccine passport uh, to enter his business. And he's trying to get ahead of the curve here. Right now, they're still on this. They're incrementally ratcheting this stuff up. Uh, if you had said this a month ago, that vaccines were going to be mandated by employers, people would have called you crazy. But here we are. And so obviously the next logical step is to uh, mandate it for customers. And, and the Biden administration started talking about this, I, I think the week that he was inaugurated, they were saying how they were going to work with corporate America on a vaccine passport system. Well, we haven't heard much about that recently, now have we? What we've heard about uh, are them requiring employees to get vaccinated. I think that the, the Shake Shack CEO or founder, whatever he is, um, is well aware of what direction things are going. And he wants to get, uh, you know, benefit from some of the good press of getting out in front of this. But pretty soon, 
other businesses are going to be requiring to. I won't be surprised if we have banks, even online banks, require uh, that people get, you know, proof that they're vaccinated in order to uh, uh, do business with them. You know, personally, I bank online. I, I, I don't have to go to a, ever go to the branch to deal, you know, with my checking account. Um, but if these businesses, you know, I mean, there's no real logic in requiring your, uh, your, uh, customers to get vaccinated. So, you know, when, even when you're dealing with in-person businesses, there's no logic to that. There's no data to support it. According to, uh, Walensky, uh, the woman who runs the CDC now, people who are vaccinated are still spreading the virus just as much as everyone else. So if that's the case, then you have, there's no benefit to, to anyone else. You're not helping uh, to slow the spread by getting the vaccine, according to the CDC. And so there's no logic to forcing people to, uh, to get it as terms of employment or of you know, service if they are a customer. And so there is no real reason why they wouldn't also deny people service online. They could just say that, hey, as a result, just the fact that you didn't get the vaccine makes you uh, an unsavory person who we don't want to be associated with. Banks, as I talked about earlier in the week, banks cancel people's accounts for that reason uh, all the time. Apparently, uh, I just heard uh, Lauren Witzke, I think it, w it was her name, uh, this blonde woman who ran for Senate in uh, Delaware. Uh, trying to fill Joe Biden's old, old Senate, or not, not his old Senate seat, whose was it? Well, anyway, it was, it was the Senate seat in Delaware. And uh, apparently Wells Fargo canceled her account when she was out of town and she was stuck in Florida, which, you know, there are worse places to be stuck, but hey, it's not fun to wake up and find all of a sudden that your bank account is gone. And the only reason that they did that was because of her politics. And so I'm sure that the plan um, to implement this vaccine mandate uh, via corporate America, via academia, via local governments, um, is moving along as scheduled. And so I'm glad to live in a place like Florida, uh, where that is now illegal. Um, and, you know, people can say, oh, well, aren't you supposed to be an ANCAP? Uh, aren't you supposed to be a big libertarian? Uh, how do you support the government uh, telling uh, businesses what to do? <laughs> Well, obviously, this is not just businesses acting in a marketplace, um, you know, of their own accord, trying to satisfy their customers. These are businesses acting at the behest of the federal government. <laughs> That's the reason why businesses are doing this, because uh, once you get to a certain size in this country, the way that you know, your business becomes very much um, tied up with the government. You have to lobby in order to expand your business and maintain it and to suppress competition. Uh, that is just the nature of corporate America. They may not be um, du jour state actors, but they are certainly state adjacent. And so they are much more susceptible to the, to the whims and the will um, of the federal government than they are of their customers. That is a fact, I think, at this point. When Walmart pulled ammo out of its stores, do you think they did that because they're concerned about all of the poor people who shop at Walmart who are just so angry that they sell ammo? No, poor people loved that Walmart sold ammo because Walmart sold it cheaper than everywhere else. And it was a cheap source of ammo. If you didn't have a lot of money, you could go buy ammo at Walmart and it was cheap. Now you can't do that anymore. Why? Well, because Walmart is afraid of governments that don't like guns and Walmart wants to stay in their good graces. And so even if we customers are vehemently opposed to these vaccine passports, if the federal government wants it to happen, if all of these local governments across the country um, in blue areas want there to be vaccine passports, corporate America is going to go, happily go along with it, uh, even if a majority of their, uh, of their clientele are uh, appalled by it. And so the only way to have any real effect on them uh, is to use what uh, state institutions you can wrangle any control over, um, use those few institutions to try and push back uh, on these corporate entities who are acting as agents of other factions within the government. 
by using uh, the authority of the state of Florida to outlaw vaccine passports, uh, you're not cracking down on free market capitalism. You're pushing back on the overreaches of uh, the medical bureaucracy in Washington. So I would encourage anyone who lives in a state that has not taken the approach of Florida towards vaccine passports and uh, proactively uh, tried to head them off at the pass uh, and f forbid them and keep them out of um, the marketplace, uh, you know, quote unquote marketplace. Um, I hope that, you know, one, you live in a, in a, in a, uh, a locality or a, uh, a jurisdiction that would even consider Take it, making a move like that. And if they haven't made that move already, hopefully they do it soon. You know, call your state representative or your state senator. Um, um, I don't, I mean, it's probably too late to organize stuff. I don't know anything about community organizing, but this is the time to do it. If I were in a place other than Florida, I would really be sweating right now. Um, and frankly, I'm sweating a lot already since it is summertime in Florida. This is the last stop before total vaccine passports. Just look at how swift everyone has moved this week to mandate that their employees do this. Uh, once, once, the, um, once the authorities on high signal that it's okay to start requiring this of customers, everyone is going to do it overnight. So with that said, I will see you folks back here tomorrow.